Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Christine, and I got snowflakes on my nails because that white shit has started to fall from the sky. But then a dog pissed in it because that's usually what happens whenever I find a snowbank. And as it turns out, the little glitters that I put on my nail look yellow in some light. So I'm just going to go with that. A dog pissed on my nails. If you didn't know, I live in Ottawa, Canada, which is la capitale du Canada. So now you know. And we got snow. I start off with a white polish as my base. And yeah. Yay, I know the white polish base coat is back. You guys have been asking for it for some reason, so here you go, you bunch of weirdos. You can find my favorite white polish at the link below in the video description box, and I also made another video a while ago on what's the best white, and this is the winner. Cause it's like cream on my nails, Santa, step away from my cream, and go back to your milk and cookies. Except to give me the cookies. Before I do a gradient, I'ma put some Simply Peel all around my fingers so I don't make a mess. But what's going on? This is a different bottle, and that's not a nail polish brush. It's a bubble blowing nipple. So now you have the option when you buy Simply Peel to buy it in the regular polish brush bottle that I usually use, or like this in the dropper bottle. I guess the advantage of this is that you'll never have to deal with a messy brush that sometimes gets clumpy. And also, some people might find this a little easier to apply because you can kind of squeeze it out as you need more, you know? Except not me, I'm having technical difficulties. <laughs> this is my first time using it like this, so clearly I don't got the technique down right. The other advantage of getting Simply Peel in a bottle dropper like this is that you can just wipe off the excess on the tip really easily and bam, cleanup is done. Just do me a favor and immediately throw out the napkin or paper towel that you wiped it on so you can avoid a really awkward conversation with your parents. And now we begin gradienting, yes, we begin with white on our sponge and then we're gonna put some pretty blues cuz they're like the sky and they're hollow oh my god this bright cobalt blue is so bright and cobalt blue my love a England hollows how deep is your hollow is it like the ocean oh shit I already sang this remix oh no simply peel only takes two to three minutes to dry and by the time you've added nail polish to sponge you can go ahead and sponge that shit right on always do your gradients in multiple thin layers as opposed to less thick layers so that you don't end up having your gradient look lumpy and crappy like a lump of coal in my Christmas stocking for being a bad girl this year oops these blue hollows just do not want to cover up the white face okay why are you being such bitches just cover that white okay so that was four coats but now it's time to peel off simply peel like no big deal feel the peel again cuz the peel is real I'm so animated today I'm like a crazy person because I failed to cover my entire finger with simply peel sometimes I have my slow moments I'm just using one of my cleanup brushes from twinkle tea dipped in acetone to clean up my skin twinkle tea sells three different sizes of cleanup brushes and I personally prefer the smallest one so I can do this. See how I can get super close up in the cuticle and kind of smooth out the lines of the nail polish that I made a mess of. It's like Photoshop for your nails. Now add a quick dry top coat cause we're gonna add nail vinyls next. Yeah girl, you know you predicted that shit cause you know what's up on Simply Nail Logical Channel. My nails look good but now my cuticles are dry. So I take an empty nail oil pen. You can see my favorite nail oil, the link is down below. And I just use the pen to add a little bit of hydration to my now dry cuticles because of acetone, but not too much oil because it's not a massage and I gotta take pictures. So I'm gonna use some snowflake vinyl. Yes, cause it's winter and there's snowflakes that never look like this in real life though. For once, these vinyls are not actually from Twinkle Tea and to be honest, I have no idea where I got them. Like a year ago, a friend gave me a pack of random nail vinyls and I could not tell you which shop these are from. Cause there's so many nail vinyl shops out there, it's getting a little ridiculous. Ridiculous. Twinkle Tea does sell snowflake vinyls, I just don't have them yet. And of course I use the best white polish to cover this because no other milky polish will accomplish what I'm trying to do here. Peel up the vinyl slowly and yes, opaque snowflake is on my nail. Perfect in one easy coat. 
How about that, bitches? Let's do another one because there is a lot of snow outside my window and I hate it. Did I mention that I hate the snow and the cold? One of these days, I am gonna move to Florida. I think I would fit in really well there with all the 67 year olds. I could do all the grandma's nails. I can teach them all about Instagram and Snapchat. Don't you want to see some granny snaps? The only problem with painting grandma's nails all day is that when I ask them what color they want, they're gonna say, Oh, how about that lovely dusty pink color? No, granny, that's boring. Pick another one. Whatever do you mean? This mauve color is splendid. I swear, my grandma's bowl of nail polish is full of like baby, ugly, muted pinks and mauves and I kind of just want to throw up every time I look at it. I just got an idea for a Christmas present for my grandmother. I'm going to get her some hollow. Thank you, Christine. You have been so helpful in this tutorial. All right, nail vinyl snowflakes are done and now we're going to add some iridescence to those snowflakes with these white icing loose glitters from Twinkled Tea. Hey, you know what? These are exactly like unicorn skin that I discovered in my holographic shattered glass video not too long ago. They're just in a harder hexagon shaped loose glitter form, but they truly are the skins of the unicorns. Can't you see? Do you see it? Do you see it? I see it. And now, how are we gonna append the unicorn skins to our nails? With hollow, of course, like you even need to ask. I'm using this hollow top coat, which I put a link for in the video description box. I'm applying it over my winter scene because I'm gonna make that winter nighttime scene sparkle. I work quickly because the unicorn skins only got a limited amount of time to stick onto the hollow top coat. So I'm just randomly placing the unicorn skin glitters in the snowflakes and around the snowflakes in the sky and at the bottom of my nail because I don't know, like there's should be a mountain at the bottom probably. Doesn't that make sense? Sometimes I do my nails and I don't have a plan. I just do them and then things happen. I don't really know what this is supposed to be, but I'm just gonna go with on December 25th, the heavens opened up and Jesus was born a unicorn. His skin shed off and fell down from the sky onto a bunch of virgins. The virgins were actually hollow sluts and not virgins at all. So all of them got together and piled on top of each other with the unicorn skins and had a big orgy and then this mountain was formed and then a dog peed on it. You are now educated in hollowism religious studies. A plus for you. You're welcome. Now look at the snow on my nails. Yeah, I got hollow and unicorn skins on my nails and they're all so pretty and they make me feel a little bit better about having to face winter. Let me know where you live and if you get any snow where you live because if you don't get any snow where you live, I'm going to hate you. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye.